Hi there, Frankie for Premium Members for the trading day of October 28, 2024, a Monday. Okay, I also want to move on to some other markets here. Let's see precious metals, of course, which just continue to march to the upside. Don't try to look for any reason in this. First of all, there could be, and we don't know about it. And if there isn't, that doesn't matter either what we do, and that just keeps life simple. We just trade technical patterns, nothing more, nothing less. Getting to the SI setup here, silver, on which I have a very interesting setup here, and I'd like to say a bit more about this, but still very briefly. All right, so this is what I would call a mother of all pullbacks. First of all, there is sync. Uh, the various time frames are in sync. Look at the weekly in progress, daily first pullback after the breakout setting up and the four hour chart complex pullback setting up to be triggered. You will never ever see a better opportunity than this. And again, this is not a guarantee for success to this particular trade. This particular trade can become a loser, but the chances of that are rather slim. This is a great setup and we need to take this seriously. Let's say you want to trade this and you're a 60 minute trader or a 15 minute trader. And I'm just using these examples just to demonstrate. So what would you do if you trade something normally, if you trade something less than even the four hour chart? If you trade the four hour chart, then your trigger area, which would probably, you see, we already have one algorithmic signal. We might get another one. The trigger zone probably is sensible to think of it as 34.5. So if, if this level breaks, then probably it makes a lot of sense to be long. So this I would regard as a entry area. Beautiful. Now, if you trade smaller charts, then what you need to do is you, well, you can do anything you want, but what I would do is that I would look for bull flags on the smaller charts. So if you notice, the bull flag might trigger around 34, let's say 34.2 on this 60 minute chart. So you get a better price if you enter on a smaller chart. Now, if you want to enter on the bull flag on an even smaller chart, you might even be ready to enter at 34. So what is my point here is that if you drill down to smaller charts, you're basically getting a microscopic view like a surgeon of the area of the setup of the situation. And you can use that information to, to uh, enter sooner based on less information, but the compensation is getting a better price. So if you want, you can even eye this 34-ish area here. So by the time the four hour trader, 35, by the time I'm considering entering long, you are already long. You see the difference between 34 and 35? That's a long way to go. So there's no need to wait till 35 if you're a trader who's comfortable being on a smaller time frame and looking for fine-tuned, precise, so-called precision entries on the smaller time frame. But here comes the problem. Traders who enter based on a precision entry think that just because they entered with a precision entry, now they are entitled to work with tighter stops. And they're going to put a lot of stops in this area, somewhat naively thinking that now I am entering on a pullback on a 15-minute chart. But the fact of the matter is that, yes, and the same thing on the 4-hour chart, on the 60-minute on the chart, on which you might want to somehow place your stop a little bit around 33,600. Now, if you look at the four hour chart, the stop area is around 33. And here's the point. My conviction is, and my experience over 15 years of doing this, even if you use a precision stop to enter the trade, you still have to put the stop out of the battle zone, outside, beyond the last pivot. The last pivot is obvious, is the low of this candle, and you have to ask yourself, where would price have to come down for me to think that this trade is done? It's not my trade. 
For me, it would be in this area. So this is my stop area on the four hour chart. In my experience, even if you fine tune, even if you use smaller charts to enter the trade, which I call precision entry, it's very good, logical, nothing wrong with it. You should be mastering this technique. But the point is, your stop should still be defined on the four hour chart. Simply because for larger players, it is part of their daily bread to take your money, anybody's money, who is naive enough to put any stops here. I hope you get the main message, and the main message, just to repeat, is even if you use a smaller chart to fine-tune your entry, the stop should not be tightened. The stop should still be where it should be, behind the last major pivot, on a meaningful time frame, which is, I think, in this case, a four-hour chart. So this is it for now. We'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.